everyone welcome to yet another video from Tijus Academy so by seeing both of us together you people might be thinking we are going to have a role play presentation uh, yes that's partially correct we are going to have a role play but not a presentation but a discussion so through this video we are going to tell you people how to analyze a role play when you're there in the examination hall yes exactly yes. so uh, you know you have to make a utilization of the three minutes preparation time given to you so what are the aspects that you need to focus on here we are to uh, give you a brief idea regarding the same. Exactly. So, when we examiner, definitely you people will be under pressure. So, we will be under pressure in the exam hall. So, what are the key areas that you people need to be very careful about? Or how to analyze a particular role play? When you are getting the role play card, yes, how to apathy. approach also, how to give an approach. Yes, exactly. How do we approach this approach? How do we approach this type of role play? How do we approach all the aspects of our mind throughout the role play? How do we approach this card? We have a detailed analysis or a detailed discussion in this video. So, when we are getting a role play, it is very important for us to understand the each aspect from the very beginning itself. For example, the role play, the role play card begins with a setting followed by the scenario. scenario. And finally the task so we have to analyze each aspects right yes exactly so, so let's look into an example so here the setting given is a neonatal intensive care unit and in the scenario it is mentioned that you are a neonatal nurse talking to the parent of a baby who was born yesterday the pediatrician asked you to explain the condition that is cleft lip and pellate to the parent so after getting the scenario, as we have, as we always mention, you know, you need to look uh, look into three questions. If more the questions and answers are same, but then we'll be getting an idea regarding the introduction. Exactly. So the first question would be who you are, what is your designation? Yes. Since it is given the setting given here is a neonatal intensive care unit, you are a neonatal nurse. Yes. So one of the registered nurses working in this facility in the Parayindani Kalam Betrana. My name is Varsha. I am a neonatal nurse. Yes, exactly. Our particular setting and search tanne namre designation paraygi anengil that will give more clarity. Yes, exactly. Our presentation ne korchun gude clarity kitto ndau. And Varsha parna da answer chhe namre setting ano paray nada. That's a neonatal intensive care unit. That is an important aspect. Namre preparation time le tanne namre ko mansla kaun namre important aspect ana da. Endo konde naal. When we are saying the setting is a neonatal care unit, neonatal intensive See intensive care unit in the parame, but then we can understand the fact that the patient will obviously a baby yes. who is there in the intensive care unit of the neonatal ward. Our third in neonatal situation lola or a baby arikum. So definitely we won't be able to have a communication with a baby, baby who is there in the neonatal intensive care unit, which makes the situation that we are going to have a communication with the bystander. bystander. We don't have a patient, we don't have a patient, we don't have a bystander, we don't have a communication in the beginning, we don't have a patient, we don't have a patient, we don't have a patient, we don't have a patient. Yes. Okay. Otherwise, we can try to answer the question, to whom are you going to have the conversation with? Yes. Because it is clear cutly mentioned here that you know, you're going to have a conversation to the bystander. That is the bystander. Yeah. Bystander in the paranya adhani edukkunna dharikum obviously better right or la kariyam because when it says that a bystander or a parent it can be the mother or a father father aga mother aga so don't be judgmental and get into the conclusion that this is going to be a mother adhu kondu nammal she aana enna avada vechi assume cheyan paad illa by only after asking to the interlocutor nammal avarada gender fix eynadu important aana angana cheyna dharikum logically better right or la kariyam okay so we are going to have a setting and analysis we are going to have a conversation or we are going to have a conversation or we are going to have a discussion on the condition of the child to the parent so we are going to have a conversation about the condition that is cleft lift and palate yeah for the mother parent know the kutti the condition is pretty to parayam indi turn it over yes so upon any upon our setting we have analyzed scenario we have analyzed upon our mansalai number from our analysis that we are going to have a communication with the bystander who is going to be a parent that can be a mother or a father avada mare olla or analysis il nammal etti chernu inni nangal kolla or confusion allengil nangal kolla or what kind of a case how we can initiate the conversation a the type of category of role play il namak idane include cheyam because we do have non case unknown under 
ഏഞ്ചല് <laughs> Angel. Yeah. Okay, let me just check her file. Oh yes, I got her file here. Mm. So the baby has been diagnosed with a condition of cleft lip and palate. Am I right? Exactly. Oh yeah. So this is how we'll be approaching an unknown to known situation. Exactly. In in uh, now suppose you people are there in the examination hall and you are thinking that you are going to take this conversation as a complete non case. Your complete non case site adakkanam ennaanu ningalku aa oru momentil feel cheynathu ennu vicharikka. So we are going to give a demonstration of how to initiate this particular role play as a complete non case, case. ennu nokkam. For example endu kondaanu nammal angane parayana nu choichal ivada setting endu parayunnundu neonatal intensive care, care unit. unit. So care unit means the patient is already admitted there. Yes. So other conda you people will be having a tendency to take it as a complete non case moreover it has been mentioned here that the pediatrician asked you to explain the condition exactly so which means uh, the uh, doctor is directly asking us to go for an explanation to the parent yes. so other conda ee role play na how we can initiate the conversation as a complete non case ennalladinte or a demonstration nokka so shall i go as a nurse here yeah sure all right so uh, good morning good morning all right so if i'm not wrong i'm having the conversation with baby rose parent yes all right so for the communication purpose could you please tell me your name yeah you can call me peter all right so peter as per the condition your baby is having cleft lip and palate and but you don't need to worry we will be explaining you everything regarding the condition and your baby is in our safe hand as well okay. so this is how we can initiate the conversation but the point that you have to remember here is this is completely a non case which means during the preparation time you have to ask the interlocutor regarding the name of the patient who is admitted there avade yes. admitted aayirikkunna patient inde peru aanu nammal preparation time la chodikkanadu interlocutor nodu aa samayathu chodikkanadu pinne ee ee oru situation il ivade condition aarkanu ullathu baby kanu ullathu so we can go with asking the baby's name here during the preparation time exactly so baby ide peru aanu nammal avade interlocutor nodu chodikkum undava so aa oru situation il ningal sridhikkana karyam endha nu choichal ingane oru situation varumbo obviously every one will be having a confusion aarude per aanu chodikkendathu patient inde choikano by and moreover it is mentioned here that the baby is born yesterday exactly so anganatha oru confusion ningalku undava all ee oru situation mathram nalla when we are having a communication with a bystander appo we go with the baby i mean the patient's name patient name because patient is admitted there or patient is having the records so namaku obviously as a medical professional we are familiar with the patient adukonda it's always logical to ask the name of the patient with the interlocutor all right yes exactly okay. so shall we move on to the next task then yes so we we are uh, you know uh, hoping that you got an idea regarding the introduction exactly. introduction clear ay nu vicharikkunnu ini nammal thaalithe task like rendu reethiyil nammal introduce cheyidu or complete non case item ene introduce cheyidu unknown to non no item, item introduce cheyidu so engane aano ningalku aa or samayath logically idine convince cheyan thonunnathu you can use either of this uh, introduction yes. now moving on to the second task okay. so that is regarding the condition of the patient just like we mentioned the condition is cleft lip and palate appo nammal parentinode explain cheythu kodukkana kuttiyude condition endha annalladu so it has been mentioned here that cleft lip and palate is a condition in which there will be an opening or a split in the upper lip 
or the root of the mouth or both. Yeah. Because you know, we are explaining a condition to the parent and moreover the baby was born yesterday. Exactly. So this is quite an overwhelming situation for the yeah. parent. So because this is where we have to make use of the reassurance and the empathizing phrase yes, of the exactly. day. So it's it's not only in the beginning, throughout the conversation. We have a little bit of confusion. We have a little bit of introduction and a little bit of reassurance. By the end of the role play, we have a little bit of reassurance. But yes. it is not like that. You are supposed to maintain that empathy throughout the, the role conversation. play. Conversation yes. Always look yeah. for the target audience. Because mm -hmm. uh, you know, in every situation, you are going to have a conversation either with a concerned patient, yeah. a patient with a lot of anxiety, a patient who is worried. So, if you have a target audience, you have to be always in your mind. That's why you try to empathize with their situation and be reassuring as, you know, as possible. As possible. And moreover, here we are going to have an explanation to, uh, regarding the condition to the parent. So, before giving a proper explanation, but be giving, uh, giving an explanation regarding the condition means we are going to reveal a negative, negative. news to the parent. Yes, yes. So, before giving an explanation, it's always is important to reassure the parent first then move on with the explanation in a very light manner Nana. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So, regarding the you know condition, revealing the condition, that is clear. I know you know. So, you have to be reassuring, you yeah. know, uh, as much as possible. Other than that, empathizing would be our situation. I can understand being a parent, you might be quite stressed and you might be really anxious about the child. Uh, really, I can put myself into In your position. situation. By looking at your face itself, we can understand that you are quite nervous. Yes. But you don't need to worry at all because your child is in our safe hands exactly. and we will be definitely taking care of your child. Exactly. exactly. Condition that will be really impressive. Yes. Okay. And moving on to the next task. That is regarding the discussing the causes and find out the relevance. relevance. So here, uh, what you have to do is second task namala complete chedu. So yes, our condition. Namala, condition namala complete chedu. We are we already gave the explanation to the interlocutor or the bystander situation and such. If the interlocutor itself is or the bystander itself is initiating the conversation, we will follow up If the other party is not initiating the conversation, so then it is your yeah. responsibility to initiate, initiate the conversation. the conversation. So, is there anything else concerning you? Or do you want me to explain anything else regarding the condition? Yeah. This is what you initiate. If you have a pause, you will avoid the responsibility. That is why you always you know, kind of initiate the conversation. Yeah. Don't wait for the other one to you to know initiate the conversation. conversation. Basically, you a gap where I'm part of If they are not initiating, you should initiate the conversation by simply asking the question, do you have any other questions? Or is it clear so far? In the part of the conversation, conversation initiate the yeah. Now, moving on to the third point. That yes. is regarding discuss the causes and find out the relevance. relevance. Here, we need to discuss the causes with the patient. Causes with the uh, causes with the bystander. Causes with the bystander in the parayim parathek, you know, for example, here it is mentioned as genetic deformity, parainunda, smoking, smoking, drinking during the pregnancy, parainunda, obesity, obesity parainunda, diabetic, parainunda, lack of folic acid and certain medication including anti-seizure and steroid tablets. So, in the carnangal kondana, Condition one uh, 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 and most importantly, causes in open the find out the relevance. Exactly. So, this is the the situation relevant yeah. to the situation. Yeah. Basically, we are listing out the possible causes of the condition and we are trying to collect the data from the bystander yes. among this listed condition which which become or which can be the cause or reason behind the child's condition. Yes. In the, so, our question is going to be the So, we will talk about just our causes. About. So, let me yeah. uh, explain the causes regarding, you know, causes of this condition. In the mm -hmm. session, we will talk about Well, Peter, could you please tell me the relevance of these in your situation or in the child's situation? In the talk about this. If you feel this, you will feel this relevant to you. In the talk about this. So, we will be getting a response in such a manner. Yeah. So, then soon after that, we can move on to the next task. Next plan. But we have condition, paranyu, causes, paranyu, definitely after the the treatment directly. Exactly. And the patient or the parent, the bystander will be definitely anxious about the child's condition. So, most they want probably to know. they themselves will initiate the question. Yes. Like, okay, Manageable or no. Yeah. Because after uh, getting to know about the condition of their own 
uh, child yes. which has born yesterday obviously the parent will definitely initiate the conversation in most of the scenario yes. like in in, in the cheyan pattum is it treatable or how can i manage, manage. the situation of my child ennore valare concerned aayittulla oru question definitely namukku avadunna expect cheyavunnadana adu kondu thanne aa oru concern nature ne respect cheyidonde nammude response should be in a very smooth and gentle manner avarude emotion ne ottikalum hurt cheyatha reethi avaru raise cheyna question ne namukku onnu endu cheyam avade onnu sympathy allo empathy express cheyam well i yeah. can understand you might be pretty anxious exactly to worry i'll just give you an elaborate explanation on the same yeah. ennu parayal I'll be I'll be reacting in the same way if i'm in your place yanam ning idu pole thanne react cheyullo ningada sthanatha irundengil so being a parent i can definitely understand the situation of your child of yes. your of you ennalla karyam namukku avada parayanadha so i can move on to the care plan and the treatment yes exactly so when looking at the care plan of this particular treatment you can see that there will be a list of plans yes. over there So, I'm going to have a list of cardinals that we have to initiate. Uh, it's always better to uh, provi- provide it in a very proper structure. Yes, exactly. So, here we can use the aspect of sign posting. posting. Okay. അത് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആണ് അല്ലാന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ദ യു നോ ദ പേഴ്സ് പേഴ്സൺ ഹൂ എവർ മൈ ബി ലിസ്ണിങ് ടു ദി ഓഡിയോ റെക്കോർഡിംഗ് വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് എൻ ഐഡിയ ദറ്റ് യു ജസ്റ്റ് സിംപ്ലി റീഡിംഗ് ഫ്രം സം വേ ഒരു ക്ലാരിറ്റി ഉണ്ടാവത്തില്ല നമ്മൾ ബാക്ക് ടു ബാക്ക് വി ആർ ജസ്റ്റ് ഗോയിങ് വിത്ത് എൻ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ അതർവൈസ് വാട്ട് ഐ ഹാവ് സീൻ ഇസ് യു നോ പീപ്പിൾ ടെൻ ടു യൂസ് ലോഡ് ഓഫ് വാൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദിസ് സിംപ്ലി ബൈ കണക്റ്റിംഗ് ദ കോണ്ടന്റ് വിത്ത് സിംപ്ലി യൂസിംഗ് സം ദ കണക്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് അപ്പോൾ അതും ഒരു ബ്ലണ്ട് ആയിട്ട് ഫീൽ ചെയ്യും അതിനേക്കാളും കുറച്ചും കൂടി ബെറ്റർ ആയിരിക്കും സൈൻ പോസ്റ്റിംഗ് എന്നുള്ളൊരു മെത്തേഡ് നമ്മൾ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ഗീവ് യു യു നോ കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ഒരുപാട് ഇമ്പാക്ട് തോന്നിക്കും ആ കൊടുക്കുന്ന നമ്മൾ കൺവേ ചെയ്യുന്ന ഇൻഫർമേഷൻ ആണെങ്കിൽ കൂടി അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ നമ്മൾ ക്ലാരിറ്റി ടു ദി ഓഡിയൻസ് കേൾക്കുന്ന ആൾക്കാർക്ക് കൂടെ കുറച്ചും കൂടി നല്ല ക്ലാരിറ്റിയിൽ കിട്ടും നമ്മൾ കറക്റ്റ് ഒരു സ്ട്രക്ചറിൽ സൈൻ പോസ്റ്റിംഗ് ഉപയോഗിച്ച് വൺ ബൈ വൺ ആയിട്ട് അതിനെ അപ്പോൾ അതിനൊരു എക്സാമ്പിൾ കൊടുക്കാം അല്ലേ so the very first one can be uh, started by using the sign posting first of all yes. or firstly ennu parayatta adutha point parayam moving on to the second one ennu parayam parayam allengil yeah, second one yeah. third allengil, one allengil thirdly ennu parayam in addition parayam yes allengil yeah. ipo last nu nadandengil finally finally parne namaku last at the point ne maa kuda end cheyavunnadana add cheyavunnadana so eppadum shraddhikkuga nammal oru discussion allengil oru list of karyangal express cheyumbo it's always better to use sign posting in that particular area which will exactly. give you more clarity adana avada shraddhikkanda karyam even impact also impact also And, yes exactly <laughs> the impact yes. matters kelkuna aarka kelkuna aalkku adinte intensity valare correct aayittu manasilayittu undavanam so yes. that is very important and moreover there is one more thing that i would love to Add, add with this particular context after giving a detailed discussion it is always important for us to check with the other party whether yes. it is clear or not exactly yeah. see clarification always because you are educating a person as exactly. you know that in the oet speaking context you are educating a person who is not at all having an idea regarding whatever matter you are having you know discuss, discussing with them yeah. so it is your responsibility to seek a clarification at at the point of time appo avadeyum repetitions varadirikka nalladum kodi or aspect aanu maximum adum kodi shraddhikka is clear for you yes. am i understandable i hope are we you are follow- the, yes are we are on, we on the, the same, same page, page? Yeah. are we on the same page yes. <laughs> i hope you are following me exactly nalla pala pala statement venam nammal avada upayogikkanayitte and it is very important just keep it in your mind when we are giving an education or a very lengthy explanation to someone it is always better to seek clarification yes. by the end of that particular explanation exactly okay so nammal endu paranju nammade next point fourth point um complete cheydu so care plan um parayunnundu treatment surgery parayunnundu so yes. here it is avaru oru minute adu chodikkana so what is the treatment and care plan nu chodikkana nundengil it is your responsibility care plan parnadinte oppam thanne treatment um kodi paraya kan adinte middle oru question choikkanda avashyam illa appo ningalku adu rendum endu cheyam onnichu thanne outline cheyam pinne care plan ippa korchu lengthy aayittulladu aayidukonde thanne adu parnadinu shesham ningalku venengil oru clarification seek cheyidittu പിന്നെ ഫൈനലി നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റിലേക്ക് വരാം എക്സാക്ട്ലി പിന്നെ അവിടെ അവിടെ ആഡ് ഓൺ ചെയ്യാവുന്ന ഒരു പോയിന്റ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഹിയർ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഗീവ് എ ഡിസ്കഷൻ ഓർ എക്സ്പ്ലനേഷൻ റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദ ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ പ്രൊവൈഡിംഗ് നമ്മൾ കൊടുക്കാൻ പോകുന്ന ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റിനെ പറ്റി അവിടെ ഒരു ഡിസ്കഷൻ ആണ് അപ്പോൾ ആ ട്രീറ്റ്മെന്റ് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് വി ക്യാൻ റീഅഷ്യർ ദം ബൈ മെൻഷനിങ് അബൌട്ട് ആർ ടീം ഓൾസോ യെസ് എക്സാക്ട്ലി അല്ലേ നമ്മൾ യു ഡോ നീഡ് ടു വറി അറ്റ് ഓൾ വി ഡു ഹാവ് ആൻ എക്സലന്റ് ടീം ടു കോപ്പ് വിത്ത് യുവർ ചൈൽഡ് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ നിങ്ങളുടെ കുട്ടിയുടെ കണ്ടീഷൻ മാനേജ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റിയിട്ട് നമുക്ക് നല്ല എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ്ഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു എക്സലന്റ് ടീം തന്നെ ഉണ്ട് ബേസിക്കലി യു ഡോ നീഡ് ടു വറി അറ്റ് ഓൾ എന്ന് നമ്മൾ അവരോട് ഏതൊരു ഇൻകൺവീനിയൻസ് സിറ്റുവേഷൻ വന്ന് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമ്മൾ അത് പ്രോപ്പർലി ഹാൻഡിൽ ചെയ്യും എന്നുള്ളൊരു പോയിന്റ് കൊണ്ട് നമുക്ക് അവി
more reassurance to the parent. Yes, so parent. our aspect. So, we have to say that this is a particular role play. This is a situation where you have to be in any situation. You have to be able to relate. That's why we have to say that treatment. Obviously, we have to promote the team. We have to say that there is a reassurance. Because in mother and child cases, there are a lot of exams that are not going to be able to do content. But if you have to say that there is a lot of content, you have to say that there is a lot of type of mother and child in the situation. Yes, exactly. Because it's exactly the same. If you want to, you can make use of this particular explanation when we are having a conversation directly with the patient also. Yes, exactly. So, the patient says that you need to undergo a surgery. Obviously, they will be under pressure or they will be quite worried. So, we can provide reassurance to the patient by mentioning that you don't need to worry. We have an excellent team to cope with your situation. Situation, exactly. We can say that the patient is saying that we can say that bystander. So, treatment explanation is saying that we can say backing up our team. Yes. All right. So, shall we move on to the next point? Yes. So, the next point yeah. will be regarding the challenges the child might have. Because, you know, uh, being a parent, it is definitely, you know, they want to know what are the challenges that the child might have in future. So, if we have no idea, full negative idea, maybe feeding difficulty, ear infections, hearing loss, dental problems, speech difficulties. So, we are going to list out a lot of, you know, negative things. Again, as we have told you people, so try to get... Yes. So, what do we do? Generalize here. Other than that, you know, reassure the parent yes. in the situation so, so always you know kind of whenever you're providing a negative thing like challenges side effects after effects so try to you know our negative and a positivity add to you know that's a point but you can do that and open then and you can reassurance provide exactly. again mentioning you know the other the team about our team team so you, and another point see if we are about to reveal a very intense news or a yes. negative very negative news to the patient or a bystander it is always uh, better to generalize the situation exactly. which will provide them some sort of consolence yeah. this is very common yes particular case learning if we have a cleft lip we have difficulties see there are other children children as well well, those who are facing the same difficulty and their parents are also having the same concern and we already educated them regarding the possibilities yes. as well and we so, have encountered several cases like yeah. this before also and we have properly managed it very well yeah. so I can assure you that in your situation also we'll be able to manage the situation in a proper manner. In a proper manner. So, for any kutti ke matra malla, where all karu ko munda, idhen ne munne vanna thunda, and this is manageable. In dollar communication, parent leke chenda kariyambo, that will be something very relieving. Reassuring and also yes, reassuring at the same time. Yeah. So, can we just move on to the last point? So, angena namlo dollar difficulties explain chhe idh kariyno. Now, the next aspect is regarding respond to the parent queries. So, namlo da kariyne na pogan patna ella explanationo namlo parani kariyno. Now, ini lastly, parent nariya nolla da ini future. Future and if any future, I mean, either both the situations avoid it. I mean, it because this is the first kid. Up in the future, babies will in the situations avoid it. I mean, in the Jane and Nas. So basically, after giving a detailed explanation regarding the condition, possible treatment plan, and everything to the parent, now we need to wait for their response. Are we going to take it? Yes, they will be feeling very relaxed and will move according to our plan. Some in some situation, they will be quite anxious, they wanted to get a reassurance from someone else also. Exactly. So, they are responding. We are supposed to give a response back according to their movement or yes. their response. Okay. Yes. Speak according to the situation. Situation. And here it is mentioned that uh, when it comes to the response to the parent queries, consider genetic counseling before pregnant. Pregnancy. So, we have to talk about the genetic counseling aspect. We have to talk about the genetic counseling aspect. That is why we have to talk about the prenatal vitamins. We have to talk about the importance of it. And it is very important. That is the third point that is regarding avoiding the use of tobacco or alcohol. Especially during the pregnancy period. Like we are generally providing health education. Health education. In the day. So, we can also appreciate them for asking this question. Because this is a relevant question. If we have a concern, we have to talk about it. 
നമുക്ക് ആ ഒരു സിറ്റുവേഷനിൽ അവരെ മാക്സിമം എന്ത് ചെയ്യാം അവരെ അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റ് അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം ആൻഡ് വി ക്യാൻ ഓൾസോ അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റ് ദം ഫോർ ദി ദർ വില്ലിങ്നെസ് ടു ടേക്ക് കെയർ ഓഫ് ദർ ചൈൽഡ് ഓർ ദർ കൺസേൺ റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദർ ചൈൽഡ് ഒരു ന്യൂ ബോൺ ബേബിയെ പറ്റിയുള്ള അവരുടെ കൺസേണിനെ അതിനനുസരിച്ചുള്ള മാനേജ്മെന്റിനെ സീക്ക് ചെയ്യാനുള്ള അവരുടെ ഒരു വില്ലിങ്നെസ്സിനെ നമുക്ക് അവിടെ എന്ത് ചെയ്യാവുന്നതാണ് അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യാവുന്നതാണ് സോ ബേസിക്കലി നമ്മൾ അവിടെ റീഅഷ്യൂർ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് വി ആർ എംപതൈസിങ് വിത്ത് ദ പേരൻസ് വി ആർ അപ്രീഷിയേറ്റിംഗ് ദം ഫോർ ദർ പോസിറ്റീവ് ആസ്പെക്ട് ആൻഡ് വെൻ ദർ ഫീലിംഗ് വെരി ലോ വി ആർ ആക്ച്വലി providing some sort of emotional support as well exactly okay now so this is all about the discussion you know engane aanu ipo ingente oru situation varuvaanu nundengil because you might be feeling confused and the introduction aanengil kodiyum because the baby was born yesterday yes, appo yes. nanu aara peru choikkana mother aano baby aano ennu oru confusion vannal kodiyum see always you know you have to keep this thing in mind that you are supposed to ask the patient's patient name during the because, preparation yeah. time because we Appa are having the records regarding uh, with, the the, with respect to the patient only so it's always better to ask the name of the patient in any such situation see your role play mathra When But don't item, you start to start with the patient's name, you always go with the patient's name, ask the patient's name during the preparation, preparation time. time. And if you are going to have a conversation with the bystander, what do we do during the conversation? Yes, we can ask the name of the patient during the three minutes preparation time. Yes. What do we do during the three minutes preparation time? Yes. What do we do with the bystander? What do we do with the bystander? Yes. What do we do with the bystander? and finally we are moving on with the conclusion of this particular role play exactly. and here it is mentioned that conclude the role play in a very positive, positive manner. manner so our tone our words that we are using everything our expression everything has to be in a very positive manner that is very important yes kanu nammal ivide already outline cheyidittunde care plan und treatment und ini endukku support nammal provide cheyunnade ella mention cheyidittunde adu kondu thane oru positive oru end kodukka nalladana item important by providing maximum reassurance to the page, uh, to the parent and be welcoming towards the end of the exactly. role play be welcoming in the sense if they are facing any difficulties in the future also we can assure them we are here to help you yes you are not that. alone in this journey yeah, exactly. we are here with you our whole team is here with you so you can trust us for that moreover namku venengil oru brochure kodi provide cheyan because yeah, for further clarification, clarification further information we can even provide a detailed brochure regarding this particular situation to the parent for yes. their better understanding so this is all about our discussion regarding this particular role play card and we really hope that you people will make use of these ideas in your presentation so for the time being this is aishwarya and varsha signing off from tejas academy urappana vijay